a wide sweeping and very timely doc that cut through a lot of the buzzwords and the fear attached to pandemics um, to give an in-depth look at them and at viruses. I was delighted by how deeply they explored these topics and treated the audience with some intellectual respect and not shying away from some of the more scientifically detailed information, but they also th synthesized that knowledge in a very clear manner. Um, the overall concepts of viruses always existing in the world and their necessity in the cycle of life was very interesting. Um, and that viruses aren't the enemy, but human activity influencing these environments and spawning viruses uh, was really interesting to me. So that uh, maybe humans are the ones to blame at this in how we rip up environments and uh, speed up these changes. Great cinematography as well to accompany it and, and visually bring this research to life. Next Pandemic was a really, really comprehensive look at all the ways um, in which another pandemic could come to light um, and all the ways that we could prevent this from happening. Um, it was amazing to see just how many factors go into making um, or could go into creating this next pandemic. Um, just it, it just this film makes it feel like it, the next pandemic could come from anywhere, really, which is terrifying. Um, it was really scary just seeing that there's already all of these much deadlier viruses out there that could easily become the next uh, huge killer um, as soon as it becomes transmissible to humans, which is really scary. Um, especially, I think that this documentary had a lot of powerful sound bites that they got from people um just some of them that i thought were powerful was um them talking about we as humans eating ourselves into extinction the fact that um evolution uh, the fate of evolution is extinction um nature is limiting us as a species with these pandemics that we are entering the era of pandemics um just all of these sound bites that that are powerful and meant to scare people into uh taking action which i thought you know when it was very important uh and for people to hear um just seeing how much climate goes into uh creating these deadly viruses, um, you know, everything from pollu pollution to biodiversity to how we raise our livestock to, you know, gold mining in the Amazon. The, like I said, this, this documentary is very comprehensive. It covers so many things. Um, I liked that it went from, you know, Asia to Africa to the oceans to the Amazon Every corner of the world was covered in this in this documentary as well. Um, it it almost made it seem like we were lucky that it was just COVID nineteen that became transmissible to humans and spread like wildfire, because there are so many more, even deadlier viruses out there that could have become COVID, which uh, of course is terrifying. But I, th I think this is a very important documentary to have out there, and I think a lot more people should see it. Um, it's not enough just to scare people with this COVID-19 pandemic. We need to know what caused it and what we can do to prevent the next one. So I think having such a comprehensive look at what we can do is so important. Um, and it's important to know that there is ways to prevent it, and we're not helpless in this. So yeah, I think this is a really powerful, important documentary to have people see, and I, I did really enjoy it. This film is called Stopping the Next Pandemics. This was a far-reaching feature. It was so well done. We are given such a vast amount of information about how human behavior has affected animal populations, which in turn can cause the spread of diseases and pandemics, which often come from animal sources. It was fascinating to see the footage about this topic from around the world, like Peru, Canada, Kenya, etc. Amazing drone shots of fields, 
forests, oceans, and mountains. The dramatic orchestral soundtrack, which was under a lot of footage, was very fitting for a film of this scale. I love the confident narration. The film provided fascinating interviews of doctors, other scientists, and even historians about things like vaccination. The animal footage was excellent too in their natural habitats, in wet markets, and in labs. The film ended with an optimistic mood. As we learn more, we have a better chance to keep the world healthy. Great job. Wonderful film. Um, first of all, you know, the title really catches you because none of us want another pandemic. <laughs> so stopping the next pandemic is something that, that that's a very catchy idea that we are going to want to see. So, um, you know, this was produced wonderfully. All the interviews were terrific. So it was nicely directed and everybody spoke so well on camera and explained everything so well. It was it was really nicely done. It was uh it was really interesting to see about, uh, you know, different types of viruses and bacteria, how they're, you know, they, they, they tell us they're not all bad, you know. Um, you know, some viruses and bacteria need to exist and, you know, some of them are bad, some aren't. You know, these are basic things we kind of know, but it's really nice to have it uh, explained to us in depth so we can really understand it. Um, it was interesting to see the ties between, uh, you know, spreading of disease with uh, food production and, and agriculture and precautions being taken there. Um, so yeah, no, this is really, really nicely done. It was great score. It was nicely edited, nicely directed, uh, beautifully, uh, beautiful use of scenery, wonderful photography. And again, the interviews were great. Everybody was wonderful on camera. So terrific job with it on this, uh, terrific concept and uh, terrific way of, of, of presenting it. So, um, I hope this stuff gets out there and gets seen. It's really important. It's, it's, it's really good. And it's got a great message. What a poignant and as most relevant documentary. Really, really strong itself, put together really well. It was great to hear from, uh, you know, certified professionals in these fields uh, about the uh, viruses and the, uh, the transmissibility and human responsibility too, uh, which is something that uh, we didn't hear a lot about uh, in the last few years just you know the blame went everywhere and in fact i guess some blame did go to humans but just in the wrong spirit i guess um this just did a great job at presenting it all very clearly concisely in a way that i think everyone should uh listen to and and should uh really be encouraged to watch a piece like this because it's just uh just seated in in facts um it just it showed us you know so much from around the globe um, about viruses, uh, both past and, and present. Um, and it's just a really strong message. Um, again, one that I think most, many, everyone needs to hear. Um, and there's just some great uh, quotes in there, uh, you know, about, you know, the one that's specifically the, something about the, the fate of evolution being extinction. And, you know, that kind of stuff really, uh, it, 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 it hits it hits a nerve in a way when you think about it um and it it's great for that so um yeah again this documentary was just filled with wonderful uh, tidbits like that um again just very uh, relevant topical and super important so for that reason alone i'm glad this one exists but they did a really strong job uh just at, at putting it all together again in a really um, digestible way so great work stopping the pa next pandemic is really eye-opening. I think on the one hand, this is actually quite scary. Um, it kind of shows you just how many viruses are out there, how susceptible we are to infection and illness, um, and how we've kind of brought all of these pandemics on ourselves to the way we interact with the world. Like, that's, that's pretty scary, overwhelming. But on the other hand, um, it does really kind of expand your understanding of viruses, like the idea that we come into contact with loads of viruses all the time that don't make us ill, or that we actually need viruses to live on this planet like that's that I found really really interesting um you know and the fact that we kind of bring all these pandemics on ourselves um you know we, we, we end up sort of killing ourselves is very scary but then also at the same time the film clearly has a sense of what needs to be done to make this better and how, how you know certain concrete ways that we can change our interaction with the world to limit the sort of negative impact we have on it and to make the, the health of, to improve the health of the entire planet, including ourselves. So 
there's definitely a strong kind of call to action and, and a you know, kind of sounding call of hope at the end, which uh, does kind of temper out the sheer kind of horror that's in all of it. Stopping the pandemic, there's a ton of information uh, compacted in this 90 minute sequence. The main takeaway from this piece being that human imprint and responsibility is the reason for us entering potentially this era of pandemics, COVID being the first of many. We follow a virologist following a bat habitat as they dive into collecting data on one of the latest up and coming discovered viruses. Uh, one of the many outlooks that we received throughout this piece uh, for this main statement uh, is a broad takeaway, uh, yet this documentary dives into a variety of facets and outcomes that stem from human disruption, from the origin of emerging diseases to going directly to the habitat source to study the environment to traveling with food during through customs and the world of poaching, you know, the information we were receiving is relevant to today as we're still dealing with the ramifications of COVID and doing our part to be part of the solution to take preventative measures for the next one. We're seeing a birth of, you know, diseases and their journey that it takes us to extinction. The scientists even say, uh, state in the documentary, that the fate of evolution is extinction. Uh, and we are uh, the cause of our own undoing. And if we don't act on these solutions, we will lead ourselves to human extinction. And we capture a solid visual interpretation of these virologists' day-to-day -day lives. We get a clear image of what they do, what, uh, what, what to do, and what not to do. Uh, <laughs> We dive into science and the ethics of these cases. The interviews uh, or conversations come from an international perspective out in the field. Some facilities never before seen to the public eye. I would counteract with the statement on what the gentleman said in the piece, uh, saying that the younger generation will do the their part to fix these issues. And I would make the statement that we all collectively need to be perfectly imperfect, making moves to do what we know what we need to do, uh, not putting this responsibility on the future generations to come, to consume less, to think before we act, and realizing that the way that we went about things even 25 years ago doesn't necessarily mean we should go about them by using the same formula now.